Oh, yes. Meanwhile, <laughs> he jumps in the water. Wow, this can only go well. <laughs> yeah. So, you you don't know how much time has passed, but you are suddenly standing in a building. Presumed I'm going to stumble forward a couple of steps, considering I've just been, like, leaping at him. And um, it... yeah. So, yeah, you're... Yeah, exactly. Huh. So you're in sort of, um... A room. And in this room, you see a number of devices off to the side. A number of computer systems. Just, like, computer machine thingamajigs. Yep. There's a giant mm. monitor, um, on the wall. Is the screen is or... blank. Oh, blank. Okay, cool. Is that like a door to this room? Um, oddly enough, there's not. That's what I figured. I'm going to go look at some of these machines a little bit closer. Alright. Well, you take a... Go ahead and roll me alertness perception. I'm so glad I put some more points into alertness perception. Uh... I'm trying to... Thirteen. All right. Um, well, you notice these computers are remarkably complex, way more complicated than anything you've seen, even in Kamex Tower with like the the space ob observation machine. These are considerably more complex. Hmm. Additionally, outside of this room, you hear um, what you hear? You hear um. A large amount of water flow outside of all the walls of this room. I assume there were no windows. No. Okay, that's what I thought. Huh. Does it look like there's any way of controlling these these machines, or are they just like automatic thing things? Um. Well, there's a number of buttons. Are they labeled? Um. Yes, but they're in a language you don't understand. I hit the biggest one. All right, you hit the biggest button, and yep. things begin to blink on. The buttons hmm. begin to light up, and on the wall, it says, or on the, not the wall, but on the, like, giant monitor, which is built into the wall, mm -hmm. it says, missing input, modules not found. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to take another look at the buttons. Like what? What's how many buttons are we talking about here? Is it like five or like fifty? Like fifty. I'm gonna hit a button at random. It appears on the screen. I'm gonna hit another one at random. It appears on the screen. Okay, I've now deduced that this is probably some kind of like typing device. So I'm gonna. Punch in some random, about 12 random things, and then see what happens. You do, and then they all appear on the screen. Okay, I'm going to see if I can look for a button that's like a confirm button of some kind. Like just Well, you continue hitting buttons. Eventually, one of them does make the line, you know, en enters, and mm. then you see a, a message appear, and it's in a language you don't understand. Hmm. I wish I'd studied more languages. <laughs> you can roll me an intelligence willpower check? Um, sure. Uh, seven. Um, you're not sure, but this does look a little bit like the script in Dan's book. Interesting. Hmm. Have I got access to everything in my inventory right now? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn over the map and write out the inputs, the labels on all of the buttons in the order. Like, draw a diagram of those buttons and copy out the symbols on them. Okay. Uh, roll me an um, alertness artistry check. I have no artistry. Excellent. I have forgery, but that's not quite the same thing. Oh, forgery would be fine. Oh, actually. cool. I'll use forgery then. Uh... Gets me a 14. Alright, you do an excellent job. You've successfully copied out the keyboard. Excellent. 
Uh, I also want to copy out the message that came up on the screen, although I assume it's going to be something like invalid command or something when I, <laughs> if I eventually try All right, and write it. You've copied it over. <laughs> hmm. Well, sort of Additionally, the... oh. around the room, there are a number of cabinets. Oh, right. Uh, there's, a ch there's a chair sitting directly in front of the, um, of the terminal and the, 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 the view screen. Well, I'm going to go look at the cabinets first. All right. Well, uh, yeah. There. So when you look in the cabinets, mostly what you see is that as you pull things out, there's sort of server racks. There's lots of additional computers. Okay, I'm going to explicitly look for a slot that appears to be suspiciously empty. Oh, very good. Um, yeah, you find um, one cabinet that seems to have three slots that are completely empty. Interesting. I'm I'm assuming this is the module not found that came that was coming from there. Hmm. Three slots. And as you're pulling across uh, out other drawers, you also notice that one drawer has a um uh, uh like a what's it called a binder in it. Oh, I'm picking that up. I'm picking right. the heck out of that. <laughs> All right, you pick up the binder. And when you open it up, you see a picture. You, well, you see pictures. One of which, um, there is a bunch of a variety of different people, none of which you recognize. And then there's also a picture of Jakey Boy. I'm just adding that to my inventory because I'm keeping that. <laughs> the entire binder is in a language you don't understand. That's fine. I'm taking it with me. I can translate it later, I assume. <laughs> yeah. You also notice that there's a picture of Sharon. That would be reasonable. Yep, considering how much I explicitly try to avoid Sharon. <laughs> no, I mean, it would be reasonable for the binder now. Oh, okay, fair enough. I'm definitely... And there's a line that's drawn between Sharon and Jakey. That's also reasonable at this point. Cool, right. I'm pocketing that binder. <laughs> Oh, and there is one other... So there's a number of pictures of, of various people that you don't recognize. But there is one other picture um, that stands out to you. It's kind of terrifying looking, actually. It's like um, it's like a picture of a very dark room. And in this dark room, there's a small, light, uh, white figure that is barely visible. Um, here, one sec. I'll post a picture. It's like this. This is a good picture. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just slowly close the binder and put that away. And I'm going to have another look around this room. I'm going to just examine the chair, I guess. All right. Well, the chair is quite large and has a number of controls on it, oddly enough. It's... I'm assuming it looks more or less like the Starship, um, Star Trek captain's chair. Oh, uh, yeah, approximately. Yeah, that would be a reasonable interpretation. That's what I figured. Okay, I'm going to sit in the chair. All right, when you do, a number of uh, the screen changes commands slightly, and a number of options appear on the screen, none of which you can read. Okay, so what sort of controls does this chair have? Well... Uh, you see just a ton of buttons. Are they all the same size? Um, well, one of them, there's like an up, down, left, right sort of thing and with a big button in the center. Okay, I'm going to hit the big button. <laughs> all right. When you do, the viewfinder thing sort of fades out and fades back in, and you, you're seeing out into a whole lot of deep, dark blue. Interesting. I'm going to try poking at, like, the arrows and seeing if they do anything. As you do, it seems like there's a camera that's turning around. You see dark, deep, all around. That's Occasionally you see a bubble bubble up. Okay, so underwater, that's what I thought. Hmm. I'm going to hit the big button again and see if that does anything. Uh, you ret it returns to the option menu. Okay, I'm going to press the down arrow to move to the next option, and then press the big button again. When you do, you suddenly find yourself 
waking up elsewhere. Excellent. <laughs> and you are back where you where you were before. Okay, so I've the guy's just jumped into the water, and I'm just sort of back on the shore. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we're hopping back into the other voice, yes. I don't think I had pictured that the story would take this kind of turn. Yeah. What with beetles crawling out of bodies. And... Yeah, that never happened in a Mario game. <laughs> Maybe we just haven't seen all the Mario games? Probably one of the more obscure ones, like Mario Teaches Typing. Yeah. <laughs> Spell Beetle. <laughs> it represents Mario Paint, where they use the bug oh, picture that's instead right. of filling oh, people. <laughs> I, I figured it out. <laughs> so all we have to do is get one of those giant hands from the bank vault <laughs> and get a fly swatter. Either that, or just find the undo dog. The undo dog. Oh, the undo dog. <laughs> he'll, help, he'll help us out. <laughs> Mario Paint, the undo icon's a little doggy in an eraser. Uh, oh. No, oh, I want that to be canon now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, take these voice clips and edit them to make it so that that is actually the solution <laughs> and what we got to do. Can't believe you people forgot about the undo dog. It, it's it's been like over a decade since I played Mario Paint. But it's the undo dog. I mean, Mario Paint wasn't my childhood game. I didn't play it. I just know about right. it. Time to freak out, Horko, with our turn to put weird stuff. <laughs> Whoa. In the, thing. the the only thing I remember about Mario Paint, other than the fly swatting game, is one of the. Well, the things you could put in the song that just went. Ah, ah. <laughs> that does sound like a Mario Paint sound effect. Yeah. So, as far as you guys are aware, for those who were keeping an eye on Holo, Holo blinked away for a second and then returned. That... So it was only for like a second. That was interesting. Oh, cool. Huh. You mean like a second or like a fraction of a second? Like a fraction of a second. Like okay. he blinked. Okay. Huh. I'm just watching for bubbles, so. <laughs> bubbles. Well, Blue. you don't see any more bubbles as you walk down. Blue. Do Do I see the other guy still around? Uh, the guy that they were chasing? Well, you saw uh -huh. him jump into the water. Oh, okay. So, while seeing Barnabu Flash, I am going to shout out at him, Hey, you doing okay? I mean, I was wearing the invisibility cloak as well, so... <laughs> but, yeah. Um... No, that's true. Alright, so I guess I didn't see Flash, and <laughs> I just saw the guy well, down in the water. It's reasonable <laughs> for Van to have seen that, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, Xerix, you saw um, Polo briefly pop out of existence. But only for like a very split second, and then return. Oh dear. And, that uh, was interesting. What happened? I will tell the entire group. <laughs> uh, we need to get back. I've taken the invisibility cloak off. Let's get back over there, and I'm gonna... That was strange. Seeing you now visible, I'm gonna shout out at you then. How about the guy? He's swimming away. So yeah, um, Sturge, as as you notice, you you haven't seen any more bubbles, but you do see bubbles sort of approaching you in from the opposite direction where where the guy was. Ah, ah. Uh, shoot! What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Uh, hmm. Stop him! Take Don't... this. Uh, throw silverware at water. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. I mean, you Stop could if you him. wanted to. Stop him if he's a werewolf. <laughs> Do I have any ice rounds? I do. I have 12. You could try and freeze it. Freeze the water. Sure, I'll try it. I'm gonna try and freeze the water. Like a, like a little block of... Like, uh... Like a, just a chunk of water. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. So fire your check. Or roll your check. Oh, it's been forever since I've shot a gun. So... Is that agility gun? Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, and then revolver. Okay, that's a 12. All right, you manage to hit the water and you see it freeze on top. Or become like a lot thicker and sort of solid. I don't know if that froze underneath, but it's worth a shot. I'm going to be making my way back over to everyone else at this point. Oh, I'll follow. You do notice that the that the um, water, that the bubbles seem to have stopped after you shot the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean I to shoot you. I tried to see if I, if I could see that guy, and I got a five, so I don't. Okay. <laughs> what? Did you just trap that guy under the ice? Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Great. All right. I'm going to get another plank, and I'm going to try and pull the block of ice closer. All right. You begin pulling the block of ice closer. It's a deep black darkness. Strange. Hmm. Is it a... Is that kind of darkness familiar to me? Well, it's like the water. Oh. The water at this point is a deep black dark. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, I didn't mean to aim for him. I just wanted to block him, but... Uh, hey, if I got him, that's whatever. <laughs> we kind of wanted to talk to him. Yeah. Rather than kill him. I didn't mean to kill him. Freezing him <laughs> might not necessarily have killed him. Freezing him under that water, though? Probably. Mm, I don't know. This guy's, uh... This, this guy's weird. I mean, if he was going to go <laughs> diving in this water with the scuba suit, I mean... Like, either he could I mean, survive... I if we can it. retrieve him, we, we can have a chat. Yeah. Can you I mean, can you put your flame on, like, flambe or something? Like, <laughs> like blowtorch level? I doubt it. <laughs> Darn. So yeah, do you the the water is now close to the edge. The, the the ice is now close to the edge of the water where you guys are. If we get two planks, can we lift it out? It's ice. Like that's difficult. Ice uh, is kind of slippery. What I'm hearing is not impossible. If you roll extremely well, then sure. <laughs> Be a lot easier with your hands. I'm not dipping yeah, my hands I, into that water. I uh, I mean Part of the ice is above the water, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to grab it. <laughs> Remember, you're still grabbing the frozen water. Maybe get gloves. Wrap. I know it's a stupid you thing. Have but... gloves? Wrap uh, John's parachutes around your hands. Yeah, wrap a parachute around your hands. Wrap a yeah. parachute around your hands. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, you do. And, um... Yeah, go ahead and roll me a body athletic check to try and lift the ice out of the water. Alright. I'm going to use my lucky ability. And it was worth it giving me an 18. Alright, you lift the block of ice out of the water. And as you look into the darkness of the, the black ice, you notice that there's this strange white figure that's starting to form at the edges. Oh, no, 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 oh, dear. no, Okay, no, so I no. throw <laughs> the ice on the other side, like basically <laughs> away from the water. <laughs> All right. But I'm throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> you throw the ice to, like, the other side of the thing? Mm-hmm. All right. You throw the ice to the other side of the of the canal, <laughs> or you do your best because it's, you know, 100 feet or something like that, and it smacks into the side of the canal. And shatters. Does that shattering just look like shattered ice, or does something strange happen? Oh, it just looks like shattered ice. It begins to melt. Huh. Okay, I think we might have dodged a bullet there. What was that in there? I have no idea, but it's <sighs> not the first time I've seen it. Uh... Rezcal, Jokey Boy, you do you guys remember <laughs> a creepy shy guy in the window, right? Uh, from oh, shoot, that was a while ago. Yeah, like when we visited uh 
Vescal's church. He was yeah, spying on us. I do. Oh wow, yeah, that was a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was him. Wait, how do you know? Huh. Oh, I guess because he could teleport too, right? Uh, he yeah, he could move or project himself. It's it's kind of unclear, but yeah. And we just killed him. I doubt it. Hmm. Huh. Mm. So you're saying that he's aware that we're aware of something, then? Yeah, I, I was kind of ho <laughs> hoping he'd be receptive to talking to me, but apparently not. Does that shy guy, does he have a sim symbol like yours, or...? Uh, uh, no. There's definitely something incredibly weird up with that guy. Oh, I don't doubt it. Yeah. So, um, what what happened? John. <laughs> I grabbed the guy, and something really, really strange happened. Oh, yeah, your arms did begin to burn, so you're gonna go ahead and take four basic damage as well. Uh, I forget how basic damage works. I haven't taken any Actually, four. no, this wouldn't be basic damage. This would be wound. Four wound? Yep. Nice. And so not you nice, die. but like... Oh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm fine. Kind of. Okay. Uh, I grabbed the guy. He's extremely warm, apparently. Hmm. And then some something strange. I was in like a room okay. with a bunch of like really really complex machines. Huh. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna pull out my map and flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you do. And I assume the and diamond... everyone can roll me an intelligence willpower or um, an intelligence linguistics check. Really? Hmm. Good. That hasn't disappeared then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'll go with this plan. Four, twelve. Um, here, man. One sec. Wow, I just got an eight. I'm very sad. I'm good at that normally. There you go. Okay. I copied down what it looked like. I'm aware it's not an important message. Hmm. My guess is that the button diagram is some kind of input device. And the message I wrote down is some kind of error based on what happened. Basically, there was a big screen and a bunch of devices. I hit some random buttons and it gave me a message. Why did uh, you hit random buttons? Because I wanted to see what would happen. Eventually, I sat down in what I think was some kind of control chair. Uh, and oh wait no hang on I had a look around the thing first and it gave me a message about something about missing modules um, it looks like there were these racks with like machines of some kind slotted into them and one of them had a few missing I think there were three I counted three yeah there were three three missing so yeah I don't know what that's about but I don't think it's anything good uh so, okay, so I sat down in this chair and it gave me a list of options. I hit the first one and it showed me on the screen what I think was a live camera underwater somewhere. I couldn't see anything but blue and a few bubbles. I could move the camera around, but I couldn't see anything else. And when I picked the second option, I ended up back here. Huh. Well, that wasn't the only thing that... Well, remember... Anyway. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what to make of that, but sure. Yeah, of, of all the different vision quests we've all been through, yours is the most... Uh... I don't know what to make of the information... But yeah, 
I figured that was worth sharing. Man, it is. So, did you, like, anytime one of us went into a weird trip, we ended up having superpowers. How about you? I haven't noticed any. If I have any, it's news to me. Hmm. You'll you'll get your chance then. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, considering the grade of superpowers people have had so far, I rather hope not. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, superpowers are all well and good, but they seem to come with some horrendous costs so far. Nah. Yeah, like the cost of being great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, regardless, we need to find out what the heck is going on here. Yeah. This is... Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I feel like the more we're prodding and exploring, the less I'm understanding. <laughs> you and me both. I don't know what that guy's deal was, but he's not normal. So do we keep going down the canal? I don't know. Also, incidentally, my hands really hurt. That guy burned. Was he a Podobo? Podobo, disguising as a shy guy. Makes perfect sense. Look how well he dived into this liquid. <laughs> it's... Clearly he's used to it. You make a compelling argument. Um... Right, let's... Um... I guess now that we've killed the divers, or they've gone, our only option is to keep moving and see where the where the where the canal takes us. Alright. It's not like we have really much else in terms of, like, hints or anything. Yeah. Alright. You guys keep going down following the canal, and eventually you come to the end. And in the end, you see a very large pipe coming down from... The floor directly above to the fifth mm -hmm. floor and this this pipe is pouring out water or rather sort of water it's pouring out goop right so, thought, so right. we need to find where this pipe's coming from does your map say i'm gonna look at my map <laughs> <laughs> yes the, the, the you often provide tourist maps with the plumbing <laughs> well you <laughs> never know <laughs> I would like to visit, like, if I was in a place where you had cities on tops of cities, I would like to see that as a tourist. No, the map does not say where the plumbing goes. Ah, oh, man, you need a better map, yeah. Barnabu. <sighs> uh, can we try and see, like, where in the tower the pipe is going to, or does it just, like, go into the wall? It goes into the ceiling. Can we, like, triangulate where... Can, can I look on the map and try and find where we are on floor 4? Oh, and then look at floor 5? Yeah, and see where that corresponds to. Alright, go ahead. Uh, roll me an intelligence um, observation check. Or perception. Intelligence perception. I have those. <laughs> uh, that's Finally, it's time to shine. Yes, that's these two dice. A wonderful score of eight <laughs> out of a maximum of eighteen. Anyone else want to help? Oh yeah, sure. Three plot points would do it, incidentally. What's the check? Intelligence perception. Well, I'd, I wouldn't be any help. Let's be honest. I'm gonna roll it for fun. Oh, I crit failed. Twelve. Nice. You got a six. Well, okay, Van. You see that it's directly beneath the the police station where Caesar's being held. Oh, oh my god. They're milking Caesar. <laughs> Guys. Meanwhile, Sturge, <laughs> you got a 12? Yeah. Well, oddly enough, you've noticed that... Um, do you remember how... Um, how... Uh, Barnabu had mapped his had marked on his map the locations of all the people. Yeah. All the witnesses. Uh huh. Well, as it turns out, this is directly beneath a factory that's directly across from uh, Rosaline Tenzin. Huh. Think you got something? I relayed this information. 
That seems plausible. What? No, it's a, it goes to the, it goes to the police station, guys. <laughs> yeah, like we keep it keeps coming back to the police station. That's meaningful. Oh, um, <laughs> every time we go to the police station, we get we backtrack further. I I don't trust Van in the slightest. So and hey, I can read maps. Jakey Boy's suggestion makes a lot more sense. So mm. I think I'm going to go with that one. We could check out both. We could check out both, but we've already been to the police station, what, four times? And yeah, we haven't we... seen any massive plumbing but systems? They, like, they could... where in a police station are they going to be producing toxic sludge? The basement. The police station? Or basement. maybe in the giant factory of mysterious and dubious <laughs> origin. <laughs> I, mean, I thought we'd check out the factory. Isn't that the obvious choice? I mean, yeah. Yes. That's why. <laughs> Obvious is good. <laughs> it's also directly opposite, as we can see, one of the people we're supposed to be questioning. Uh, oh. That is kind of in Yeah, that's way, true. Really. Okay, let's go check it out, and then we can talk to the person after. I that guess. seems reasonable. Let's do that. And then the police station. Well, we have to go back <laughs> to the police person first to get us back through the checkpoint. Yeah. So let's do that. Okay. To All right, so you guys make Sharon. work your way back. All right, you guys work your way back. And you meet back up with Sharon. Yay. She says, you guys ready to go? This place is creeping me out. You don't know half <laughs> of it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, we've got... Wet. We've... She says, can you guys just stay... Far away from me, if you don't mind. Not a problem. Well, no, you're our safety escort, Sharon. You gotta I'll... keep us safe. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on you, don't worry. To the I'll factory. To... You will be pleased to know we did at least find some information here worth here, so thank you. Well, hey, anything that convicts the Purple Dawn, it's fine by me. Or, or the, the opposite of, of that. She says, yeah, but that's ridiculous. Justice prevails, the truth will out, and all that. Yes. The truth of the Purple Dawn's guilt will come out. <sighs> if that be the case, then yes. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you guys head back up to floor five. You can get there a lot quicker now that she's with you. Yeah. You can walk just right through the checkpoint. Great. Yeah. That means we need to permanently have Sharon with us, have quicker travel. <laughs> right, so we need to go and investigate this factory. Are you bringing Sharon with you? Well, we do have her for the week, right? Yeah. It would yeah. it would potentially help us to get into the factory. Yeah, do you, do you know what this factory is, Sharon? She says, not really. It seems like a factory on the outskirts of town. Uh, we have reason to believe there's... It has some connection, so we uh, need to investigate it. She says, all right, and I guess that's fine. We headed there, then? Uh, yes, yep, please. Yep. I, think, I think so. Okay. So you guys head to the factory. <clears throat> well, we smell like sewage. <laughs> and, yeah, the factory is, uh, it takes you about an hour or two to get there, really. And once you're there, uh, it's a big building. Um... You know, smoke is coming out of the smokestack. You can hear a, a loud machinery inside. Things are whirring away. Is there an external big pipe that goes from the factory to the floor? Well, not that's visible. Darn. Not from the outside, anyway. Well, I think we need to go in and possibly talk to the uh, whoever's in charge of this factory. See if they can explain what this factory does. Maybe they offer tours and can use that as an excuse. Or we can use the fact that we have a police person with us. Yeah. We Health inspection? Just... That's a good plan B. <laughs> <laughs> we just demand to see the foreman. I think that's the sensible course of action. So what exactly are you doing? I guess walking straight in. Yeah. Be authoritative. Well, the door is locked. Hmm. There's a, there's a doorbell. That's I mean, the doorbell. 
we're on unofficial business, so eh. It's not like we're doing anything shady yet. Okay. We ring the doorbell and a little voice appears on the intercom and they say who is it? Uh the police. Yeah, police business. They say, What's the matter? We've had we've already passed our inspections. Crap. <laughs> we're coming to we're, <laughs> tell the truth. I guess we just tell the truth. We're coming to investigate. We're investigating a murder. I guess, or was um um some kind of murder or something like that. We're investigating case. something anyway. We're investigating case. a case. That'll do. We're investigating a case. And he says, "All right, I'll send someone down." Thank you. And some time passes, and the door eventually opens. And there's a Koopa foreman, big old mustache, um, and a and a hard hat. Opens. Says, so, "Yeah, can I help you? What's what's going on?" We're going to need to inspect the premises. Why? We have reason to believe that uh, this factory may be involved in an ongoing uh, case involving. The matter's down on floor four. He says, nothing like that up here. We just process the water. Nevertheless, we'd like to inspect the premises as part of a police investigation. Do you have a warrant? Sh Sharon, do you have a warrant? <laughs> like a sticky, <laughs> like a sticky note warrant <laughs> thing you could just peel off and get out real quick. Sharon says, well... I can go get us one if you give me a couple hours. Uh. See, the thing is, we will come back here with a warrant if you don't let us in. You're not going to prevent us from looking, so you may as well let us look now. <laughs> he says, I like to do things the the normal way. Um, I'd like to see a warrant first. Now, just so you know, like we're not blaming you, but we think the facilities might have been... Hijack. It's by... very possible. Yeah. Well, that would be unfortunate. Sure yes, hope you find would. that warrant. <sighs> Go find that warrant, Sharon. See, <laughs> 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 see the. And unfortunately, this is just. You see, this is just wasting both our time and yours. Surely you could see. Like, clearly, we are going to get a warrant for this book. This building, it's just going to waste a couple of hours of both of our time. You may as well let us proceed with things now so we can get this over and done with and hopefully put everyone in the clear. He says, I don't know. Never had a warrant before. Seems pretty interesting. Might want to just see what happens. Wait, why don't we just give the him something experience. random and say it's a warrant? Because he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> you can't lie. How can you even <laughs> have this idea? Crap. <laughs> Curse me. <laughs> this is Jakey Boy's internal monologue that he has. <laughs> He's like, I have this brilliant. Oh wait, that would be cheating. Curses. <laughs> that would be wrong. All right. So what we need to do is create a diversion. Oh no. All right. <laughs> classic. <laughs> classic. I could just plan. forge just a warrant, or we can wait for an actual one. You know what? How? Like you said the the person living near the factory is close, yeah? Yeah, we can go interview yeah, them. Yeah, she lives directly across the street. Okay, so we'll go over there. Sharon will explain that we're here to speak with her, and then Sharon can go off and get a warrant while we speak with her. That seems like an efficient use of time. Alright. I don't know, I've got like two ideas already for a diversion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can come up with several ideas for a diversion, but it's not necessary. Sorry, Jacob Boy, we could do a diversion another time. Aww. I put away my... I'm sorry. My dining set. <laughs> <laughs> what was your dining set plan? Uh, uh, you know, I'll get into it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so which of the Rose family is nearby? None of them. Rosaline Tenzin. Oh, Rosaline Tenzin. Oh, right, okay. There's a lot of rose syllables in yeah. these people's names. Suspicious. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's go do that and see what we can get out All of right. her. Alright. 
So, yeah, you go across the street and you knock on the door. And when you open the... Someone comes to the door and opens it up and it's a young-looking Bean Bean woman. Oh, boy. Yes. Uh, Surprising absolutely nobody. (laughs) That's how they look like. Uh, Sorry to bother. Are you Rosaline Tenzin? He says... Who wants to know? Um, police business, we'd like to ask you a couple of questions regarding the, um, the Purple Dawn incident. She says, oh, alright, um, can I see your badge? Uh, yeah, uh, Sharon, if you, if you would. And Sharon shows her a badge. She says, they're just here to interview you, ask you some questions. I gotta get going, I'm getting a warrant. <laughs> <laughs> so Sharon it's <laughs> gonna turn out this is the same Sharon later isn't it <laughs> <laughs> and she says ciao guys I'm, I'm headed out okay see you later gives you a peace sign with her resnail, resnor hooves anyway and Rosaline turns to you and she says well sure um would you like to come in uh, yes, if you don't mind. That'd be great. Thank you. She shows you in, and she says, the living room's right over there. She points I'm in that direction. I'm gonna stay at the entrance, if you don't mind. I'll sure, stay with you. Sure, whatever you want. Okay, I'll, I'll go through to the living room. Alright, um, do you want anything to drink, anyone? Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, we're fine, thanks. Do you mind if I grab myself some tea? Uh, Not at all. Yeah, go for it. Alright. And she heads out to the kitchen. And... Uh, yeah, so you guys are just I'm gonna standing I'm going to listen to make sure she's not entrance. trying to leave through the window. Alright, roll alertness perception. Everyone can do this. It's actually going to be easier for Sturge and Ranskow, though. Eleven. Seven. Oh, okay. Twelve. Uh, hold on. Uh, 13. So, Sturge, you hear um, a window being opened oh, God in the kitchen? I go into the kitchen and ask, hey, do you need any help? <laughs> <laughs> you see her um, reach, trying, like, standing on the sink, going towards the window? Uh. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and she says, um, no, I'm fine. I was just a little bit stuffy in here. Oh, here, let me help you get down, because you look very... <laughs> kinda, you're kind of looking in a tough spot right now. Come and sit through next door. Yeah, I'll make the tea for you. She I... says, that would be lovely. Thank you. I make some tea, I guess. <laughs> well, meanwhile, the conversation is going to happen, so everyone but Holo hop into <laughs> channel two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And by make tea, I mean listen at the door. (laughs) So yeah, you all, I I assume at this point, go into the living room? Yeah. Tea is very interesting, but... I am very purposefully standing, like, in the entrance of the (laughs) living room. Yeah, that's a good idea. (laughs) So she says, so what's uh, this all about, guys? Um, well, we've, um, opened a defense case for the Purple Dawn. I don't know really who that is, but sounds good. Wait. You you don't know who the Purple Dawn is? Of course not. Should I? Should, that's a oh. weird way to answer that. <laughs> uh, it's just, um, your name was given as a witness to his crime. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he's the one who was poisoning the water supply. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, could you, before I ask any questions, could you recount to us, uh, exactly what you witnessed? When? Where? How? Well, (laughs) I mean, I, I was living on floor four at the time. I, you know... 
was going about my daily activities. I bought some bread that day. And when I was, you know, leaving, I heard this, this, this person, like, laughing maniacally. And, you know, he had this briefcase with, like, a, a hazardous symbol on it. Hmm. What kind of bread did you buy? Uh, pumpernick. Oh, good choice. <laughs> she says it was on sale that day. And uh, is is that all? Is that all that you witnessed? Well, I mean, I had heard this guy's voice before. You know, I had seen him multiple times around town. He always seemed pretty nefarious. Always seemed to be scheming. I heard him one time in an alleyway say that he was going to kill everyone. I thought he was joking around like kids do. But, you know, I, I'm i sure that was him. That was his voice. I see. So, you've only seen mm. the Purple Dawn in this tower? Oh, of course, yeah. Okay. So you can recognize his voice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Purple Dawn. He's uh, pretty significant in a lot of circles in the Bean Bean Kingdom. How would you describe his voice? Um, kind of high pitched, um, squeaky, but evil. Squeaky but evil. Squeaky but evil. It's an evil mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like an evil mouse. So wait, he's he's famous in the Bean Bean Kingdom. In what way? Oh, he and his family, you know, it comes from, done a lot of nasty things. He's one of those kind of people who goes around murdering people or whatever. Huh. That's, uh, that's a view. Well, like, what... That's a view most people have. Well, what kind of people? Like, are we talking random people? Like, important people? Ah, uh, people he gets paid to kill, mostly. So, like, an assassin? Yeah. I see. When did you move here from the Bean Bean Kingdom? Oh, not long ago. About a month. Month back. Hmm. So, when you were back there, how, how long ago did you, what was that information? Anyway, we can pop into the yeah, other yeah, yeah, chat. Sure. We can say. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, everyone's back. Hey. By right, now yeah, you're done with you, making the tea. And you come in with a bunch of tea just then. <laughs> <laughs> and a disgruntled expression. <laughs> Do you have any, oh, lovely, tea! Do you have any complications that could uh, plot you up? What? Any complications what? that could like contribute to you getting a plot point? Eh? Oh, yeah. Who, oh, me? Like, I wink, guess wink, I have no, duty. <laughs> oh, duty. Yeah. All right, have a plot point for duty, I guess. Awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Did it. I always forget about complications and plot points. Most of us do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she says, yeah, so... What brought you to the tower? It's enough about me. It's a nice place. It is quite lively. Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't like it here, but... To me, it's like home. What is your favorite place to go? I really like going to this bread store. <laughs> I'm gonna just, like, stop dead. And just slowly put my face into my hands and whisper, it's like, oh no, it's Sharon all over again. <laughs> is the owner of this bread store, is, is there na uh, do you know their name by any chance? Um, Pauline. I see. This Pauline. You know her very long? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, she's on the fifth floor. I just moved up here a couple weeks ago because of the quarantine. I'm just glad that they caught the guy. I hear they're going to execute him. Yes, yeah, so but we'll see about that. Well, it's good. I hope they execute him. I mean, he's done terrible things back home. He's famous back there, you know? So aside oh, really? from like the the killing, like well, what's his style? You know what 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 does he kill with? Like bombs, knives, guns, biological weapons. 
<laughs> well, it's funny you mention that. You know, he's re- he's he's relatively well known for developing all sorts of sort of biological weapons, torture devices, weird diseases. Okay. He's big on that. Sort okay. Of thing. Sense lie with the emotion bracelet. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and roll it. Uh, what was that? Uh, perception? Um, charisma perception. Yeah. Uh, 12. She's clearly not lying, and she's also very nervous. Hmm. Tell me. To where did you get this information on what the Purple Dawn does? Oh, it's just common bean bean knowledge. And who told you? Like, common knowledge. Oh, it's... Somebody will have told you at some point. Well, probably a local newspaper or something. He's relatively well known. He's a scourge. He is hated. Universally in the bean bean. I mean, that I can understand. Shush. You know, I heard... He was a member of the Vandersmine. What's a Vandersmythe? Oh, this really rich family. Vandersmythe. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> 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 you know, it's something of an something of an open secret in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Anyway, we've been looking for him for years. I can't tell you how many people he's killed out there. <laughs> really grotesque ways too. Lots of, you know, he likes to de- develop things that cause like welts to develop on you. Just awful things. Huh. That seems awfully specific. Yeah. No, it's sort of his signature move. Funny, I've heard of the Purple Dawn before, but I've never heard of this particular part of his style. Well, I mean. Maybe you probably wouldn't. Have you ever been to the Bean Bean Kingdom? Where is it? It's on the map somewhere. <laughs> like, you just think that someone that has super villainy powers, basically, like that, would be more... Would be news that would spread more internationally. Oh, well, we're very... We're very isolated out there. You know how it is. So what made you come over here to the Koopa Tower? Oh, you know, uh, they they were paying a lot of money for people to come live out here in Koopa Tower. I thought I'd get it, get in on that. Wait, why? Why were they paying money to make people? Oh, you know, just to help occupy the area, depopulate the mushroom people, whatever. You know how it is. I don't get it. So presumably, you work of some in some form. You have a job. Oh, yeah. I, I help make bread. Bread's I important. See. I see. And you get paid a lot for making bread. I make a living. I like to make lots of pumpkin. I so wait, you, do you make the bread or you buy the bread? I do both, silly. I'm not going to oh. eat bread that I make. I mean, you never had Why not? homemade bread? I'm, I make bread for a living. I don't want to make more bread for so that I can buy it. Eat it. Let someone else do the work. That's my motto. Okay. Seems a bit repetitive. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> um, so you said that you've seen the Purple Dawn hanging around prior to the incident. Oh, yeah. He was, he was often in the alleyway. Cackling up a storm, talking about evil things. Can you right. describe him? So, so why didn't you report him, given his huge reputation for being a bioterrorist? <laughs> she looks at you and she says, "Well, I probably should have, but I was just so afraid." <laughs> I would He's such be a too. Scary guy. <laughs> Can you describe? She says, the purple "Thank dawn. you." By the way, if I might say, your jacket is one. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know it. <laughs> Can you describe the purple? Anyway, boy? oh, um, the shy guy 
has a sun on his forehead, you know, standard thing. I see. Slightly unrelated question. Do you know anything about anyone selling water on the fourth floor? Well, lots of people sold water on the fourth floor. You ever been down there? The water there is not drinkable. But more specifically, a new group of people offering free samples not long before the infestation. He says certainly not. People don't do that sort of thing. No one gives free samples. No such thing as a free sample. That's what I always say. I really want to see if she's lying at this point. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Just check charisma. for it. Yeah. Go ahead and roll charisma perception. Gonna give it a shot. Too. This one and this one. Are you also gonna give it a shot, Sturge? Uh, Ooh. sure. Ten. Sorry. Well, intel Twelve. Intelligence perception. Charisma perception. Okay. Charisma. Okay. Ten. Uh, what are your numbers? Ten. I got a twelve. I also got a ten. Uh, I got a ten, but I'll use the bracelet to make it easier. Well, as far as you guys can tell, she's telling the truth. Hmm. Hmm. I still don't believe hmm. her. <laughs> Unless... Rosalind, do you know any other uh, bean people in the area? Says, oh no, there's not many of us out here. Just me making my bread, hmm. buying bread, eating bread. So none of uh, none of uh, like other bean people were paid to come here. It was just you. Oh, I was the only one who took up the offer of my family. And why did the others in your family refuse? Well, you know how it is. People didn't want to leave their homes. I'm, I'm not expecting much of an answer here, but you seem clearly on the up and up. Why did you try to run away? Oh, I wasn't trying to run away. I was just opening up the window. Yeah. She's climbing on the sink to open it for some weird reason. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting stuffy. I didn't want you guys to feel stuffy. When, when did you move from the fourth floor? Oh, just a week or two ago. That's when the uh, the thing happened, right? Yeah, because of the quarantine. You moved because of the quarantine, not before it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's like with uh, with Ed and Jake. Do you mind if I can use your restroom for a second? Oh, sure, absolutely. Right out back. Oh, thank you. Have a good time in there, buddy. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slightly weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and check the sink. Just All like right. the bathroom sink. I'm assuming there's a bathroom sink in there. Yeah. I just turn on the water. Water seems fine. Hmm, okay. Roll alertness perception. Okay. Fifteen. Um, what's a fifteen? You do notice that the water, it's not that it's strange in any way, it just has a weird kind of sickly sweet smell to it. Hmm. Did you notice when she was making the tea, she was using sink water? Was... Yeah, did Shoot. I use sink water Crap. and I don't I'm going this? back. <laughs> like, I presume if I'd like, I wouldn't have been drinking the tea at any point during this, by the way. Like, just because there's all this water stuff <laughs> going need on. To have said, you need to have said that beforehand. Like, I never said I drank any of the tea, nor I made some for myself. <laughs> yeah, her to be said fair. he didn't want a drink. I got her a drink, I didn't get me a drink. <laughs> hey, uh, ha hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing? <laughs> she says, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm okay. I'm I'm doing okay, pal. <laughs> you know, a little nervous, a little worried. 
hey, but hey, isn't everybody? Everybody's worried about something. <laughs> <laughs> he says, well, I'm worried mostly about getting to work. I got to work tonight at the bread store. You, you know, you know, you should, you should tell me where it is so I can say hi. Oh, don't worry about that. It's quite all right. No. You should tell us where this bread store is. <laughs> Isn't that called a bakery? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. bakery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course it's a bakery. Silly me. <laughs> Can you tell us where it is? Oh, well, I mean, I like to save money. Uh, I don't think you could get there. It's on the 20th floor. I just live down here to save trip. some money. Even so... Nevertheless, we'd like to know where it is. Like, presumably, you know how to get there from entering the 20th floor. Presumably it has some sort oh, of a yeah. name. Well, it's called Bread or Us. I'm writing huh. this down, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to visit, of course, if you can get up there. Did you say Bread floor... or Us? Bread, <laughs> bread are us. Bread are us. Like toys are us, but with bread. Wow. Does it also have the upside down R? Yes. He says, "Well, once you get to the twentieth floor, just take a left. It's the third store on your right." Thank you. I've written that down. If you don't mind me asking, if you work in a shop on the twentieth floor, which I imagine is quite a nicer district. Why do you live down here in the sticks? Saves a lot of money. Surely it's quite a long travel time. Yeah, with all the steps, wouldn't it take like a whole day? <laughs> well, it takes a number of hours to get there, for sure. Thankfully, I've got the merchant pass, so it gets me a little bit faster. But, I mean... Even so, if you're working It's there just daily, the reality. You can't survive up there making bread. On twentieth floor, are you kidding me? I save so much money a year working down here, or living down here. Consider this: what if you worked for an extra hour? You haven't lived here a whole year yet. Hmm. Uh huh. Well, I mean, I lived on the fourth floor before <laughs> this. May I have a look at your merchant pass? He says, sure, I don't have anything to hide. She shows you her merchant pass. He gives her clearance up to the 20th floor. Steal. Has her name on it. And her picture. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, th I, think, I think we should need to go. Yeah, I think we need to talk about this. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Yes, thank you for your Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Anytime. If you ever have any more questions, you know where to find me. She gives you, like, finger guns. Of course. Yes, well. Thank you for your time. Okay, let's head outside. Okay, we gotta... Guys, she the doesn't moment... know what's a bakery. The the moment we're outside, she's lying. Like, I, like I think... Well, yeah. yeah nothing I... she said there is true. <laughs> this, this, this floor might be in danger of being poisoned, like the fourth one. I agree. Question is why. So, who's taking the invisible cloak and sticking this and following her whenever she leaves the house? <laughs> uh, <laughs> who's sneaky? Well, we know who's sneaky. <laughs> I, I mean, don't trust Van alone. Well, we, if you tag along, you're gonna screw something up. I mean, I have covert. As, as do I. You're but... actually pretty good at it, too. I feel like we need Van's people abilities more with, you know, more of the investigation and whatnot. I agree. Um, we could have Jakey Boy do the do this to stake out. Yeah. Do you mind, Jakey Boy? Yeah, I'm I'm fine with it, man. Okay. Gimme, gimme. It's your turn. Use the cloak. All right. Is this I'll, the first I'll... time you've, u you've used the cloak? I don't know if I have. I might have used it once. Uh. I'm going to give mm. you the invisibility cloak, since it's still in my inventory. <laughs> it gets passed along a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone just forgets to ask for it back. Stretchy. It's very popular. Alright, so Sturge, let's handle that first. Oh. Alright. Okay. Bye.